Hello 127th Wing and welcome to the February Drill. Today we're filming from the newly remodeled recruiting office and I actually have two uh, new members or soon to be new members of the 127th Wing that I'm looking at, uh, forward to swearing them in, in front of all of you. So with that, I would like to introduce uh, Mr. Uh, Sean Langloy, who is a resident of Harrison Township, current senior at uh, Lance Cruz High School. And uh, he is going to be in aerospace propulsion in the 191st uh, Maintenance Squadron. So I'm looking forward to seeing him working out there. And as well, we have uh, Brad Wagner, who is in the Air Force Reserves currently, and he'll be in A-10 engine uh, propulsion uh, here as soon as we swear them in. So are you, are you two ready? Yes, sir. All right, please stand and raise your right hand. I and state your name. I, Bradley Wagner. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I'll support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I'll support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And the state of Michigan. And the state of Michigan. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I'll obey the orders of the President of the United States. That I'll obey the orders of the President of the United States. And the Governor of Michigan. And the Governor of Michigan. And the officers appointed over me. And the officers appointed over me. According to law and regulation. According to law and regulation. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thanks. Welcome aboard. Appreciate Welcome you. aboard. Thank you. Good sir. job. Okay, with those two recruits, now we're down to 49 vacancies on the Manning document that we're, what we need to achieve in order to get to 100% Manning. It's, remember, it's not just the recruiting office that does recruiting for us. Every person is a recruiter. So please, I need your help to get those last 49 people on board so we can get to 100% end strength in the 127th wing. And now for a quick COVID update. The 127th wing is still in health protection condition Bravo, but due to the Omicron variant, we are in uh, utilizing some Charlie measures to include temperatures being taken at every, every time you enter a building and commanders have greater authority for uh, telework options for their members. So what does that mean for everybody? Please, if you're, if you're not feeling well, do not come in to work. Tell your supervisor that you're not feeling well. When you come into a building, you must take your temperature. You must wear your mask when you're inside. If you're outside and unvaccinated, you must wear your mask. Um, and also remember social distancing and good hygiene. Keep your hands washed and so forth. And also for all the members who are currently seeking an exemption or an accommodation for the COVID vaccine, if you are unvaccinated, you must get tested as your first uh, duty before coming in to drill on Saturday morning. So talk to your supervision and they'll let you know where you need to go, but your first duty assignment when you show up Saturday morning is to get tested. For a quick update now on our deployments. We have members deployed all across the globe. In fact, currently we have over 200 members in every geographic combatant command. We have boots on the ground in every continent with the exception of Antarctica and Australia. I couldn't be prouder of the men and women of the 127th wing and everything that they're doing for our nation. And now I'd like to hand it off to uh, Sergeant Boudreaux from Security Forces to talk about the Junior Non-Commissioned Officer Council. Thank you, General Mahman. Hello, everyone. I am Staff Sergeant Blaise Boudreaux with the 127th Security Forces Squadron, and I am here to talk to you about the new 127th Junior NCO Council. If you are an E5 to E6, listen up because this is for you. The Junior NCO Council is an organization that will provide peer-to-peer -peer mentoring, professional development, network between units, and community outreach. The Junior NCO Council will also collaborate with other wing councils, such as the First Sergeants and Chiefs Council, as well as allow NCOs to have a voice to help implement changes they would like to see here in the wing. If you are a high-speed NCO who would like to join or who would want more information, you can stop by our February RSD meeting held Sunday, February 13th at 1400 Building 160, Room 124. Or you can email me at blaze.boudreau at us.af.mil. Thank you and have a great drill. Back to you, General Maman. Thank you, Sergeant Boudreau. And now I just want to remind everybody about our busy year that's ahead of us. In May, we have a home station exercise uh, to uh, test our readiness to get out of town. In July, specifically the 9th and 10th of July, we have an air show and open house. And in September, we have our capstone inspection, which is extremely important. And as always, I ask you to watch out for our wingmen. It is our goal 
to be the best led, most efficient, effective, and adaptable organization in the United States Air Force. Thank you for your leadership, and thank you for your professionalism.